Hey, hi there, Leos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're coming across my channel. I hope you've had a fantastic week. Um, sending you lots of love to you all. You're gorgeous, you're beautiful. It doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks, okay? It's all about how you think of yourself, okay? That's <laughs> just your little beautiful message for today. So let's take a look at um, what is happening for you um, this first week of May. So let's start out with some Oracle energy, some Oracle cards for Leo's, please. Thank you. Um, what is Leo? What are the Oracle messages for Leo, please? Oh, they want me to stop there. Okay, so. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Right. So, this one popped out for you. We love this card. Look at how gorgeous this person is. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Now, just here, the title of the card is Understanding. Oh. Now, I feel here you're actually reaching a new level of understanding when it comes to your love life. Um, not just that though, I feel like you're gaining a new level of understanding about all kinds of things. It could be indeed, um, yeah, maybe a, I'm getting sort of a spiritual vibe here. So definitely a spiritual understanding as well. You could be um, experiencing some coincidences, signs, synchronicities just here. I kind of love that energy for you. So that's brilliant. Next up, we have choices. Okay, so this week just here in particular, you are making decisions. You're recognizing that you do have power in your circumstances and you have the ability to take control. Um, of what is happening in your situations, what is going on um, in your love life here. So um, this is this is good because I feel also like you're coming into balance, you're coming into harmony, you're coming into a more peaceful energy um, with your decision making. So really just kind of getting into your energy, feeling that it's gorgeous. Mm, there's something here as well about a message. Okay, we'll see what the tarot has to say about that. Um, right, which deck? Yes, we're going to use this deck. This is the Secrets of the Tarot. For some reason, the magician there was turned over. <laughs> um, so let's see, it might pop out for you. Let's have a look. It was just like that when I picked it up. I don't remember putting it back like that. So I don't know. Let's have a look here. So this is Leo's in love. Leo's in love. Let's see what messages does Leo's person have for Leo. So this is going to be for um, the person that you've tuned in for, the person that's on your mind here. Oh my gosh, that's too many cards, spirit. Leo's person. Leo's person. Oh, they want me to stop. So here we go. All right, so the star card fell out for you. This is great. You've got a new beginning starting for you. Um, a new start in love. Let me take a closer look at that. Here we go. So star card, look at this Aquarius energy. So some of you, you could well be dealing with an Aquarius because it did just pop out there, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so straight away, mm, this is all about being seen. Like a lot of you, you're definitely getting noticed. You're getting some attention. You're, you're, the, you're drawing attention here. Someone has taken a great deal of notice of you. And I, I want to say it feels like the small things. So it could be, yeah, somebody here, they've had a new, uh, like maybe just doing their hair slightly differently. Or you may have had a day here where your hair just seemed to just go right. Just be kind of uh, perfect. Um, and... Yeah, I feel like this the person you're dealing with, they do notice these small things, but they might not say it. If you're waiting for compliments or or for them to notice, I, I kind of feel like they do notice, they have noticed, but they haven't um, commented on it. Now, this could have even been in the last couple of weeks, not just this week, but 
here we go. Let's uh, let's have a look what else we've got. Look, here's that message right in the center of the spread. We've got the page of wands. So definitely here, we've got some communication. We have a message here coming towards you. You've been dealing with someone here. Look, we've got Aquarius energy again with this King of Swords. Um, so air sign, Libra and Gemini as well. Like I say, it doesn't have to be. If your person's sign comes out, all the better. But if not... Um, don't worry, it's not, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, it just means, um, you know, that's the energy right now. So, we do have here, we've got someone who's being perhaps very, a little bit cold, um, too logical, not really showing their emotions. And the reason being is because they're very shy, okay, about expressing their energies, expressing their emotion to you. Um, they are really shy here. I feel like for some of you here, I'm hearing attention, attention. Um, you may feel as though your person's attention is not completely focused on you here. Or you may feel as though their attention is uh, not completely on you. So, yeah. So somebody here, you may have caught them or noticed that they're spending a lot of time on their phone or scrolling. Yeah. Sorry, they were giving me their... Um, they were giving me this sort of, if this is someone you've only been seeing for a couple of weeks now, I feel like they want to just say, this person may not feel as though that they're in an exclusive connection with you. So they may well still be talking to other people, going out on dates with other people here. Um, so they are, they do want to just make you aware that, yeah. Although you do have this person's attention, that uh, they're actually, they're still just kind of uh, keeping their options open. This could be also why you have choices as this um, oracle energy. And yeah, look at this. We have the two of swords, so choices everywhere. Let's have a look at that one. Let's see what your person is all about um, when it comes to these choices because look we have this walking away energy so you may well i feel like this is you you may well decide to kind of walk away from this person or walk away from this connection um and i think they they are kind of feeling as though you're still going to be there so it's, it's it's like you're ghosting them i feel um, two of Swords here for Leo, please. What is this Two of Swords for Leo? Oh, stop. Okay, we've got communication again. Look, so they are going to reach out. They're going to talk to you. They want to talk to you. And more, like communication everywhere. So um, definitely a lot of contact coming in here. You, you may have had a time here where you're just not sure about what to do with this person. They, I think, are still very focused on pursuing a connection with you. And I feel like this is definitely people where you may, I'm getting like six weeks here. So you may have only known this person or, or been dating this person for like the last six weeks here. Or it could be that the last six weeks is when you've noticed a change in them. You know, they may have gone a bit quiet here. Let's look at this page of cups because it, look, you're getting an offer. You're getting another offer. Let's just clarify. Clarify the Page of Cups for Leo, please. Mm -hmm. So look, so we have Queen of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups. So yeah, this sort of is very disappointed here. Maybe felt like this is your person 100%. You thought this is your kind of forever person and or, you know, very hopeful about it. Very, very hopeful. Then, look, we're, we're going for, I feel like I'm whizzing through this because I want to show you this. We've got the tower. Um, so let's just look into the tower because obviously that's the energy right there. Um, you know, this is going to be some sort of disaster. It could be, it's definitely a surprise. It's definitely a surprise. So what is this tower here for Leos, please? Look, someone's watching you. This is, um, like I said at the start, some, you've caught someone's attention. You've definitely caught their attention. And um, someone is watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. Three of Cups. Oh, my gosh. This could be a past person. Someone from your past here. They're, they're kind of, they're still watching. They're very curious. They, they want to 
they want to know what's going on with you they want me to get one more yeah look this person represents your stability your kind of your your grounded happy energy someone that you've been with in the past here could be earth sign so virgo taurus capricorn here um I am getting August very strongly, but I feel like I'm going backwards. So this is going to be last August. So think back to the, the summertime last year. I'm sure you, you may guess, you may know already who I'm talking about, but I feel like you've got two people around you that, you know, you might be trying to work out here um, which way you're going. I feel like this new, I want to say this is a newer person at the top here um, at the start. Um and this person, I feel like they, you know, you, you, you're kind of playing it, see how you get on, see what's going to happen. I think you are looking for that person though. You are looking. Um, and then we've got this past person that I think you prefer that you have spent a lot of time with. You know them very well. It feels like you know them incredibly well. Um, and they're, they're still watching. They're kind of hoping they can come back in. Oh my gosh, Leo's, let's see. <laughs> what else does Leo need to know, please, with love? Oh, stopping there. So, yeah, someone's willing to put in the hard work. Someone is willing to work for this connection. They want to fight for this connection. Could well be an Aries. We've got the Emperor here. But look, this is someone I think they do, if I said fight for their independence, because I feel like, you know, you seem to understand one another you know, uh, really, really well. But then when it comes to actually spending time and being together and working on things together, um, that's when things start to show that maybe you um, and the other person, they don't quite know how to love you. There's not really that understanding there. It doesn't really gel. Or, or it feels like it just kind of, it, there's something off here. It doesn't quite work. It's, it could be to do with confidence. But look, yeah, King of Pentacles again. So with that Earth sign energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It may be, I think, the way that... Um, it kind of feels like maybe the way that you are spend When you spend your time alone together and there's nothing else to be doing, that's when it's difficult. That's when you get the, the harder energy. You know, it doesn't feel like it flows or it gels because what you both like to do in your downtime kind of feels a little bit different. Or it's like you want to have that downtime together, but it, it it's like it's slightly doesn't seem to quite, I don't know, it doesn't seem to quite feel the, the way that it's supposed to feel. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like it doesn't, it feels like it's more hard work. You know, to just sit in silence with your person. But I think that's that's how you can tell that that's your person. Is when you sit in silence and you feel like you don't need to say anything. And they don't feel like they need to say anything. That's when you know for sure that that is your person. Mm. But um, yeah, anyways. Uh, let's get some Cleopatra cards for you. So, Leo's in love, please. What do Leo's need to know in love? Oh, my gosh. Why does that feel so clumsy? I feel like we've got a clumsiness here. Thank you. Um, I'm being shown a fork, but it's like a... Um, it's, like, it's, it's like a three-pronged fork. Oh, I can't speak. Um, almost like someone is... Yeah, we've got a guide here for somebody who is just wanting to motivate you. Like, they just want you to um, try. Okay, that's for somebody. It's not specific. Um, but this person, I'm, they're showing me all kinds of colours. Okay, I'm getting orange and yellow very strongly here. So, with someone, you, you guys, you might want to be working on your solar plexus and your sacral chakras. Um they just, or you could find that those are just very active at the moment. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because I feel like somebody is like, just like quite used to being in your own space, in your own energy. So as much as you might want to be with somebody else and make it work, it just feels like um, 
you want them to fit in with you um and you know they kind of don't know how to they don't really know how to because they want you to fit in with them it's like there's no compromise here there's no no middle ground thank you so we have oh yeah figure out another way seven of pentacles figure out another way knight of pentacles see we have all this earth energy for you um <clears throat> So, yeah, someone does take their time. I feel like this person make, takes their time to make decisions, to make choices. And it's almost like for you, by the time they've hurried up and made their mind up, it's too late for you, you know. Um, we have the hanged man. Look, they are completely stuck on you. Absolutely. They, they, they can't move on. This is also that stubborn energy as well. So you think how stubborn they are. If they feel like you're their person, that's how stubborn they're going to stick to you as well, okay? Because I feel like this is someone they may have tried to kind of move on and, and you know, get over you. Um, but uh, they keep just coming back to you in their mind here. Look, because they love you, Queen of Cups. They absolutely love you. They want me to just get one more, thank you. Ace of Wands, look, they want to have a brand new beginning here with you. Oh my gosh, Leo's. Leo's, that is absolutely gorgeous energy. I mean, as always, this is your choice. Um, you know, you know what your life is like. You know what life was like with this person. Um, you could have felt like it was a lot of hard work with them, you know. Um, they might also be feeling kind of the same here. <laughs> um, cause, but, you know, I, I do think it's that hard work and effort as well. You do need to uh kind of put into a relationship you get out exactly what you put in so if you put in zero effort and you expect the other person to kind of do everything then you're not going to get anything back from them um but if you put in like uh all of the effort then they kind of feel like they only need to put in zero because you're doing all of the hard work you know um so it just feels a little bit out of balance or like it was in the past here but this time it feels like we've got um we've got the return here of somebody um for a new start fantastic okay leos that was your weekly read thank you so much for watching um if uh, you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe take care and send you lots of blessings love and abundance for this week ahead and i will see you next time